Hi everyone, welcome back. Very quickly, especially for those who saw my last reading, which was freaking craziness. This is what Palo Santo is supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, so there has been a massive energy shift, as you can see. As you can tell, Palo Santo, for those of you that don't know what it is, is used and has been used for a very long time, like thousands of years, to clean, to cleanse the energy, to remove negative energy, right? As you can tell, this piece is pretty well lit. I mean, if you ask me, that's pretty remarkable. That's definitely lit. But the smoke, you could barely even see it on camera. I mean, I see it, but it's light. That is... <laughs> what it's supposed to look like okay if you are new to my channel welcome oh, this is the channel where you are going to see craziness happen left and right every reading on this channel is going to be a different experience i'm gonna let you guys know right now especially if you have not seen my last reading i channel the angelic realm they are encouraging you still to go watch that reading it is extremely long even if you have to watch it in bits though it's the kind of experience where you want to take out some time put it aside and just wash it wash it that's not an accident i take everything as an omen okay because i was talking about the palo santo and cleansing the energy and if you saw the last reading you saw how it went freaking crazy now i just accidentally said the word wash what does that mean it means literally being washed clean and they did emphasize that star card many times and they're showing it to me again again if you're new welcome it'll all make sense i'm a medium so i'm already channeling even in the intro from the moment i hit record um i channel the angelic realm okay so they show me cards etc anything that i say they say it even uh before pulling cards and then they confirm it okay so and they show me cards too to confirm it they just showed me the star card again and you guys know the star card signifies healing hope faith transformation cleansing of your energy so that you can start new by the way side note i am still not home i am out of town so this is not my usual setup so i apologize in advance if it wiggles a lot shakes i'm doing the best that i can in the little crevice that i'm in so that's a very good omen for us to start with the star card though you don't see it i saw it already in my mind's eye they showed it to me which means the energy shifted and like i said these readings, especially the long ones, if you see a reading on this channel, okay, and it just so happens that all my other readings are like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, one hour and 15, and you see one that's like two hours and a half or something, like the last one, that is a clear indication that something wild happened in that reading, okay? And it was super significant because like I said, especially for those of you that are new. I'm a medium. Um, I channel those uh, that have crossed over. It's a direct conversation between me and spirit. So that's why you see me channel a lot before I pull cards because it's a conversation. I'm telling you what they're saying. Like they're, they're surrounding me right now and then they confirm, okay? So do know that. And also side note, again, all of the readings on my channel are timeless. So if you're new, even if you're not new, feel free to click, you know, videos and go through them. Okay, so so that goes back to the message. Even if you saw a super long one from like months ago or a year ago, it's the same thing. That means that they really had a lot to say, okay? That means that it's more important. They're going to emphasize, they're going to touch on a couple of things that came out in that reading yesterday, okay? But they're not going to go as in, okay? Um, but nonetheless, they're going to give more details. They are telling me, if you did see, the major focus of that reading was the fact that there was some funky energy that needed to be cleared. There was a huge block, okay? In regards to love, they specified love in particular and career. Because you guys remember that everything that comes from the heart space trickles down. It, it is Everything else in your life is a byproduct of how much you can, how well you can give and receive love, Okay. So a lot of times when you are love life or your ability to love, if there's something negative going on there, whether you realize it or not, um, it affects your work, your pentacles, your money, your mental clarity, your happiness, whether you realize that or not. Okay, truly, even if you are successful and you think that it's not affecting you, 
a hundred percent you're probably meant to have more okay because love is the highest vibration there was like a big blockage again they're encouraging you encouraging you to hear that reading um in that reading they specify that it was a particular person that was sending negative vibes not gonna lie but they they made it pretty clear in that reading that they took care of it and they just made it pretty clear with this palo santo that they took care of it because that was pretty well lit and that's what it's supposed to look like <laughs> But they emphasized that it was in regards to love and finances and a, and a union that you're supposed to have with someone because they, they had the Ten of Cups and, and the Ten of Pentacles come out together, okay? That's pretty significant, all right? Um, and they did emphasize a lot of new beginnings, okay, happening very soon. The Ace of Swords are showing it to me again, okay? I'm sorry to be repeating myself, but being that I post daily, the energy shifts, yeah, but it can't shift that freaking much where, you know, they're still going to give little details here and there that are completely different, but that's how you know if someone's pulling something out of there, you know what, because I mean, if I channeled <laughs> that they were showing me the Ace of Swords and a significant relationship and communication, and they specifically emphasized the full moon in Virgo that's coming up on the 27th of this month and they usually do not specify time because time is an illusion however the angels understand that we see time linearly so when they specify time that's significantly a big deal and they did emphasize that within four weeks of that full moon you are going to have complete freaking clarity ace of swords on whether or not you should shut the door on somebody that you've been dealing with romantically or if you should um, reconcile with somebody okay and it seems like every single reading they gave more and more information in regards to that okay um so i mean obviously if they were emphasizing that it's only been a day that's still i'm gonna have to say that message again because that's still the case okay so there is going to be communication very very soon okay nonetheless what they did emphasize and they're having me emphasize it again is that any way that you look at it, they're in particular emphasizing the past nine months. Okay? That's funny that they gave me the number nine. Okay? Remember, everything, it's involuntary. It's whatever they said. In particular, the past nine months, you might have felt completely energetically blocked, saddened. Okay? Um, going in and out of nine, uh, nine of swords energy. Okay, now I know why they're significant. Sick. Oh my god! Why they are clarifying? Why they are showing me the number nine? Nine of swords is that in your mind and your thoughts, anxiety. It's the picture in the traditional tarot deck um, with a person on a bed, hands to face. So it's it's kind of like the energy of going in and out, in and out. You know, waking up in the morning, going to work, doing your thing. It's not like you were handicapped. Okay but in the night being flooded with emotions you know because of of something that you've been going through and it it has felt like that cycle has been un has has you have been unable to close that cycle which is that world's card in reverse they're showing me that world's card upright though Okay, with that wheel of fortune that they've been emphasizing, meaning there's something about this full moon in Virgo and the time, the four weeks in between that, where we are receiving major karmic payouts. Things are going to be made very clear. So all of that energy from the past nine months, it's almost like it's magically going to disappear, whether in the form of somebody coming forward very quickly ace of swords knight of swords which is rapid okay also um eight of wands which is rapid communication even rapid travel rapid movement forward and um they showed me what else are they showing me the tower card which is sudden upheaval something sudden happening but with the world's card that they showed me it's like something happening suddenly but the tower already um happened tower moment means like a sudden shock, a sudden event. It's the destruction of an old foundation so that something new can begin. Fool card from scratch. So it's like they showed me either the tower with the world's card, which is the tower happened, but it's to close out a cycle very quickly. Or the tower card in reverse, which is like it's already happened. Okay? 
And with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot card, those are two fast-moving cards, especially the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, they're specifying, has more to do with the communication. Like, it's going to be very direct, very clear. Eight of Wands, Chariot card, whatever it is, is going to prepare it propel you forward like a slingshot to your destination but but what they're gonna grant you is okay and they've been emphasizing it i'm sorry if this is wiggling like i said i'm doing the best i can i'm not home i needed a break i i left <laughs> um they're going to grant you mental clarity whether someone's going to communicate with you and they're saying pay attention not only to what they say pay attention to what they don't say pay attention to how they react to things not their emotion attached to it okay because emotion is just emotion what's important is the intention behind the emotion okay for example if someone gets super emotional okay and they like freak out all right but you know that they're freaking out because they love the shit out of you and it's making them sad all right that's very different than somebody freaking out freaking out right in a very intense way because they want to strangle you and they hate you and they're saying hateful words and like it comes the intention is to destroy you okay that's very different does that mean that losing your cool is particularly a positive um, emotion no but what that does mean is that when if something like that happens it's something that we know that we are constantly evolving and growing as human beings so you're not supposed to really focus on those kinds of things you're supposed to focus on the intent okay does that mean that you know someone no because if you're in some kind of toxic thing god forbid someone's hitting you you shouldn't be there period but you those kinds of things are devil energy you know that that's um the intent behind that is to hurt someone do you understand so what they're going to do is it, it seems like there was confusion that seven of cups energy which i channel two things with that meddling energy from outside forces which they freaking really i mean they they went in to specify that the last reading but whatever it is it, it causes you to have clouded judgment that moon card okay two things with the moon card they're showing me which is specifying the time full moon in virgo but also like things uh, like hidden things things underneath the surface like kind of like a confusion right um it's like the, the not past nine months if you've been in this energy that i just described it's because um whether you've been having these kinds of uh arguments or situations or whatever it was you had lack of clarity you couldn't quite confidently put your finger on the intention of somebody else okay that's why you couldn't confidently move on etc but that's what the divine is going to grant you okay either by the full moon okay 27th of this month four weeks and they did specify that whatever it is that happens around this time it's going to continue on it's going to set the tone for the path that you're going to follow within the next six months either way you look at it the next six months are going to be extremely significant especially when it comes to building a new relationship it's going to be like night and day with that sun card star card against the moon all right but um that's what it is so they're going to grant you peace in that way like everything that you felt the past nine months that like confusion that fog you know fogged them um, mirrors blurred lines that like you don't really know is it's going to be made clear with that ace of swords and everything that i just said so Pay attention to the intention of people. And it's going to be so clear to you that, again, if someone comes and reconciles with you, you are going to feel comfortable to reconcile with them because you're going to know their intention both through verbal communication and words and through um, understanding their intention. And if someone comes back, pay attention to what they say and what they don't say. Um, you will know if, for example, their intentions are not particularly positive it doesn't mean that they're an evil person but let's say you're like in love with somebody and you can tell the way that they're treating you sorry is not honoring the fact that you see them romantically and selfishly they're trying to force a narrative on you to get what they want okay to have the kind of relationship that they want you know it's going to be made clear that 
where let's say if that's the example the past nine months the reason that you would get into this like nine of swords energy is because you could not tell if there was some kind of a hope between you and somebody but by now it's going to be made clear to you like no you know this person just does not respect me as much as whether they think they do or not so pay attention to people's what they say and what they don't say the intention and be confident in yours no matter what somebody says to you okay for the most part Okay, I'm reading for thousands of people. There is going to be a significant relationship forming there, but they're, they are, they've been emphasizing, especially with that six of cups, which is people from the past, reconciliation with people from the past. The majority of you, that's the case. I'm not going to lie because we are receiving a big karmic payout. So that means it's big time energy. And for the most part, for the most part, when you have been dealing with someone for a little while, like um, that energy has built up enough where it is a bigger possibility that that's going to be your big karmic payout because that energy has been building momentum. OK, or your big karmic payout is to separate from this person with peace. OK, with peace. This just flipped ascending, transcending obstacles. Literally, they're already confirming learning expansion a new phase and preparing for union <laughs> so what they're saying with that is exactly that um either you're going to come into union with this person or you're going to go into a new phase either way and they're going to prepare you for a uh, union and the next six months are going to be you know you're going to meet someone very soon and you're going to build with somebody new okay but if you do reconcile with someone which is the mo you know if you do, it's going to ascend very quickly within the next six months with peace and clarity. Okay. Um, let's see where they go with this. I know that this one's not going to be as obviously intense. I mean, listen, the reading from yesterday was an experience of its own. That reading is going down in history. They have never done something like that. The angels, to I mean, I see them every day. I know, I know. Their per I know <laughs> what their presence in my life um, signifies. And um, I don't usually explain that to a lot of people because um, whether people understand it or not, no one will ever truly understand. <laughs> but they kind of made it clear what their presence in my life is yesterday. It's really humbling. But they also don't go out of their way, even though I know that they helped me in the ways that they did ye uh, yesterday and also the collective, everybody that's watching. But they don't go out of their way to do to do everything that they did in that last reading often because they protect me. And they know that connecting to them for that long in that kind of way takes a lot of energy and that drains my body. So for them to like literally use me as a vessel, like at my expense to do what they did in that reading yesterday, they were like they knew that that was worth it because the energy that they had to fight off was that big. And they did. That reading, like, I literally was put aside. Like, there were, it, you know, like, right now I'm channeling, they're going to confirm, right? But you can tell it's a conversation. You can tell in that reading from yesterday that it's almost like, besides me channeling, I did. I channeled the cards and the exact cards I said came out, yes. But at a certain point, you could tell that the angels guy pushed me aside. Because the cards that they pulled had messages underneath. So it didn't even, like, I didn't even have to channel anything. Like, they were speaking to you, clearly, you know? It was a battle. All right. Let's pull some cards, see a little more details. Always remember, you guys, that um, every reading is... Oh, oh my God. Did you? Sh they're already doing it, you guys. They're already doing it. That's the main focus that I just gave you of everything I just said. Oh, they're doing it again. You can't make it up. No lie. Okay. Literally. Okay. Seriously? No lie. Hold on, I want to say something. Really, um, oh my god, you can't make it up, you guys. That's what they do. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Okay, can they stop? I need hold on. I want to at least shuffle. You're seeing this, okay? Like I'm freaking like it just that's just how they do it. And look, the freaking six of cups that I channel. I'm not even gonna pull it out. I'm gonna like I wanna shuffle. Okay. I was going to say, 
But I think they did that on purpose because uh, they wanted the chariot card to come out real quick. And bring this to light. The sun means illuminating things. Um, and the Wheel of Fortune could be travel too because it's cycling. I just got a... And this is for somebody specific. Obviously not for anyone. I just got a very like urgent message out of nowhere. Um, letting you guys know. Like I just... I, I And I hope not. But I mean I have to share. They are emphasizing just being very careful with travel right now for whatever reason like um either somebody got in a car accident i mean god forbid it, i hope you guys are okay or somebody is about to they're saying it's gonna be okay though but for whatever reason they're showing me like a car accident like be careful all right just be careful all right let me shuffle a little bit that was crazy you can't make that up see because they know like after the reading like they're gonna protect me now after the reading from yesterday i'm like there is no freaking yeah archangel michael i just said judgment he's gonna protect me now it was a lot on my body so you saw how quickly they just pulled all those cards they're like boom 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 okay i'm gonna help you get to the point <laughs> so you don't feel as crazy all right let's see that's how you know they're here. You can't make that ish up, dude. Did you see the Six of Cups come out? <laughs> Which I channeled in the beginning. And I just wanted to specify, okay? Because I didn't want you guys to think that I was like, just like, there's some like, hit. no, like you can't make that up. I was like, I'm going to put it back and shuffle. If they, I have to surrender. So if I hear them, because I'm talking to them, say, don't do that, listen. But they said, okay, go put it back. They fucking pulled, excuse my language, they pulled it out again. <laughs> They're like, I'm the boss here. They've been going really crazy making themselves known. And that's interesting because the entire reading from yesterday, um, the focal point was a page of swords. And uh, when I pulled it after channeling, that's the exact position that it came out and this card this card seven of cups wheel of fortune the sun and the moon and the chariot came out in that spread yesterday too and the page of swords which was the focal point okay was in the same position the only thing that's different in this reading that was not there yesterday and that's pretty freaking interesting because when I started channeling, that was the focal point today. And that's the only thing that's different. What's the focal point today? I told you, this is a continuation of the past three readings. But every little bit, they're giving more detail. This was the focal point that I told you. Being in that nine of swords, okay? Being in that anxiety overthinking for the past nine months in regards to somebody from your past. Now... Anytime I pick up the deck and the freaking high priestess comes out, honey, I am the high priestess. The high priestess is a psychic. It's your intuition. So that's their way of saying on point. Okay. The focal point for the page of swords. Okay. Yesterday. Freaking crazy. It, I can't get over that reading. It was... They had me emphasize the page of swords means a lot of things, okay? They th this is what they focused on, and I'm not just talking about the, this is they're having me say it again for a reason. Number one, and there was somebody either connected to you or somebody that that you have love feelings for or dealing with in general. Take it as a re as it resonates, because remember they're just emphasizing also with the high priestess that all readings are meant to be intuitive exercises. So if this situation resonates, let's say for a friend or for a family member or with your dog, that's just an example. And I'm told, and I'm saying love. Like, you will know, it'll hit you in the stomach that, like, your intuition, what I'm talking about. Pick up on the little things, even if I don't, like, elaborate on it. The Page of Swords was a stalker. <laughs> a stalker. It was literally, like, they gave me names. Like, there was, it was an energy of, like, stalking and, like, somebody just being all up in your ish, okay? But it was somebody that was connected to somebody else that you're dealing with. They did not have, like, sending negative vibes. You saw how the Palo Santo this time did not go crazy. Boom. They took care of that. They went into combat freaking yesterday. Like, no lie. That was a fucking battle. And they made themselves known just in case anybody doubted um, what I'm a part of. Okay? it's That was like the um, freaking, honestly, that was like the um, 
especially with the judgment card, which is Archangel Michael next to the Six of Wands that kept coming out, which is the public speaker. That was like their public service announcement of what my deal is with the angelic realm. And like people, yeah, you're a medium. Oh, cool. Oh, you're a tarot reader. Cool. But no, nah, it's a lot more than that. I don't really have to talk about it like 100%. But they 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 made them fucking selves known. <laughs> it was crazy. But there was somebody, okay, like stalking, and um, not particularly with the best intentions. In particular, in connection to somebody you were dealing with, get trying to get in their mind and trying to keep this person in a mental imprisonment. Okay, keep them confused. Okay. They're, they they brought justice to that. Yep. See, the five of wands quite literally means um, two things. It's arguments. Okay. So that has been happening. But it's also people. If you hear noises in the background, I'm sorry. It's like the heater does that. It's a group fighting together, strategizing towards making a change number five signifies change towards a common goal so the, and the high priestess means again somebody spiritual they're confirming that they fought for you through me against this energy okay so they're saying that 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 was cleared and um there was also an energy in regards to this as somebody like slandering you speaking negatively about you but the good thing that they confirmed, okay, in that reading yesterday, and they're having me emphasize it again because they're going to give more details, was they also showed me a scenario where someone was doing that, but the, somebody that you were dealing with actually had your back, okay? Like, they, it, it showed the devil in this person. The Page of Swords also signifies a text message, okay, communication. And um, it also is the card of research, Okay, and gathering information. So now this is this is the next step. As you can see, Page of Swords. Two things. Whoever it is that um, was slandering, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, somebody was now able to chariot card move forward. And I always emphasize the chariot card is the Cancer card. Why? Because the Cancer card signifies um, home, family, comfort. And like love and relationships and everything that makes you um, like family and comfortable. And that's what we're really emphasizing on. Okay. So it's like someone being able to move forward. Okay. In regards to that energy, whatever it was that the divine cleared had this person see this page of swords is researching something from the past. Okay. It's this, this person was given by the divine intuitive hit to be able to move on from this nine of swords energy, this confusion, this stress. It's almost like they could not do so. And it put you in a level of stress. But now the divine was able to put this person into a place of confidence and being able to fight forward, okay? Trusting their intuitive guidance. Um, they were able to look very clearly at situations from the past. Okay, remember that... When I say they, it's because I'm an outsider. I'm just a mailman, male woman, okay? Delivering a message. So I take myself out of it. So when I say they, it could be you. Because I'm speaking of, about it like as if, like, away from me. It could, some messages are for me, truly. But I, I'm not, that's not who I'm referring to, you know, like, when I speak. So it could be vice versa. You take it as it resonates. You have to, like, make it fit that way. So it's like somebody be being given the clarity that they needed that was their karma their karma like you can't make this up because the focal point yesterday too was the fact that it was the moon and the devil energy that kept this person it was a energy of projection okay um they had a very deep-seated insecurities that was projecting onto every scenario every relationship that they were in it's kind of the scenario of someone having abandonment issues always like having that thought in their mind like i always get left every time i have a relationship or every time i have a, a job it's always hard for me like i've always had to fight so hard for things and even though it's not in their consciousness right they're not thinking about it every day that movie that old movie that they're playing in their mind 
served as a projection, like a projection, like a projector screen, right? Like it was projecting like, like a light on everything and everyone that they dealt with. And they didn't realize that that was fogging um, their mirrors, keeping them in the dark. Okay, unable to accept the love, always in confusion, like not knowing what they want. Like they, they think they do. They have moments of clarity and then they get confused. And cups signify love, so that clarifies that. So I think it's beautiful that that was the first group here. Okay, because before it came out like this, right? Like the karmic payout was trying to move forward. It was a star card underneath yesterday. Now it's the sun, which is stronger than the star card. The star card is hope healing. Yeah, but the sun is the happiest card in the deck. It's quite literally a freaking sun. The sun is what what, shine, what is what shines on the moon, you know, like it overpowers the moon, not the star. You know what I mean? Even though the sun is a star, you know what I mean? This is more powerful. Like this is the ultimate clarity. It was the energy of um, that energy trying to come through so that you guys can receive your karmic payout or reconciliation or whatever. But then this was here. It was like blocked. It was being blocked. It was being siphoned so this person couldn't move forward. Um, it was significant that the star was underneath it yesterday because that star signifies cleansing, um, transformation, hope, faith. So that's what was happening. That's the period that you guys were in. Okay, there's been a transition from that. It's like the divine, you were at, the, the wheel is turning. You're about to receive a huge karmic payout and clarity, like I said. Um, but they were healing you somehow. And the divine was fighting for you. So now they're saying like, literally, you got to this point already. And they did that by flipping this over here with the sun underneath and putting those those cards that used to be, those projections that used to be over here that was projecting on your karma, they, the, the blessing you were supposed to receive in the past. Okay in the past quite literally okay in the past um and that's beautiful because this person whoever it is again it could be you now has clarity through research through contemplation through going within about all the situations they've had in the past and also things that because this is big karma a lot of things from childhood have been coming up those are children um the six of cups means reconciliation with people from the past people from the past friendships from the past childhood sweethearts your childhood itself so it's also like the the everything that i said especially in regards to the message yesterday because part of the message was actually they did have me use the um example of the projections due to having abandonment fears they had me use that so i'm going to stick to that example whether it applies to not, but if they're having me repeat that so many times, it's for a reason. Um, this person was able to research or have clarity from the divine or their intuition. They were led, divinely led, to be able to look back at their childhood with clarity, okay? At what darkness existed there, okay? And how it affected their subconscious mind and acted as a projection that clouded their judgment and which is which is was why they were unable to be completely happy all the time and even if they were happy even if they have wonderful friendships and they've had relationships why life just seems so exhausting because this is exhausting being in this projection energy is freaking exhausting it's exhausting whether you realize that's why you always and it and it makes you feel that way physically that's why you're in the dark okay Literally, it's exhausting, especially because when something's in the moon, the moon means things that are hidden. It's the subconscious mind it means you're not aware of it. So like you're just exhausted and then you're, you're more especially exhausted because you're not even given an opportunity to understand why the divine helped you. They were able to give this person or you the opportunity to look into their childhood, their past, bring cl shine clarity on that. So they can move forward in life. That's freaking beautiful. Number two, they were able to look with clarity, the divine shine clarity on people they were dealing with from the past, whether it's family members, okay? Um, how they affected them, how they affected them to, in the sense of being able to move forward towards, oh my God, literally, oh my God. I was about to say, affecting them in, in, in being able to, and this card came out yesterday too, in being able to have, um stability okay being really freaking abundant okay the ace of pentacles is stability it's an offer it's 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 being rooted okay 
on everything that has to do with the material plane. And that also means love. And they clarified that with the lover's card here, okay? Because it also signifies like a stable. You need to have the Ace of Pentacles. It's stability um, so that you can form a family, etc. And accept divine love. Look at what they put in the past here. Like I said, the four of pentacles. Go hear that yesterday. This person did not realize <laughs> that they were blocked. Okay? That they were blocked. And what they did emphasize in that reading yesterday was that this person did not even realize. Like, yeah, they were given the ace of swords, which is mental clarity. Yeah, you guys were given the... um the ace of wands, which is passion, but they were missing that ace of pentacles, you know, to be grounded and rooted. And it was all because of their inability to accept love. And oh my God, I just split this. You can't make it up. Oh, and I channeled this too. And oh my God, this is beautiful. I'm going to have to take these out. Oh my God. I can't even, they're going so fast because they know I can't be here forever. But they're clarifying. I did channel these cards and they're also clarifying yesterday's this was all Archangel Michael. He's the one that fought for this. Okay. He came out at least six times in the reading yesterday. And he's coming out again now. Archangel Michael is the angel that fights for you. It's judgment day. You see, he's the one that, that blows that bugle to release all of the things that were hidden deep in your subconscious. Your things that hold you back. See, it's like release so you can release them. <laughs> And you go from this eight, eight of swords to this eight, eight of wands, like I channeled. Eight of swords was the main focal point yesterday. This is a self-imprisonment of your own mind, having your hands tied, being blindfolded, not being able to go towards your castle. You see the castles behind there? He wants to give you your blessing. So, And the eight of wands is literally like one of the fastest moving cards. It's very fast moving. So what is, so what is he confirming? Through your intuition or through my intuitive guidance, somehow, if you if, if if that's what pushed you, whatever the case may be, through your intuition, Archangel Michael fought very hard so that eight of wands means eight house in eighth house in astrology, sex, death, and regeneration. So that you can death card kill this energy that was holding you back and regenerate quickly though. He's like, We're running out of time, eight of wands. Because the karmic payout, they're specifying the full moon for whatever. It's like time. There is an element of time, even though they know that we see time linearly. Okay, look, I just picked this up. Like I said, sex, death, and regeneration. Oh my God, look what's at the bottom of the deck. Like I channeled. Oh, you can't make it up, dude. Everything that comes out of my mouth, no validation. Oh my God, King of, King of Pentacles and that Ten of Cups that I also channeled. A King of Pentacles is the masculine energy that finally got to this place. He got the message so that he can sit on his throne with that Ace of Pentacles and start his relationship. Dude, you can't make that up. Let me put this upside down for a minute because they're going fast. Again, they always confirm the messages I, I share. And it's not validation. I just think it's beautiful that they make themselves known like that. That's how hard they're they, like because it means that they're fighting hard for you and they love you. What did I say? I said, as I was saying, more confirmation. Knight of Swords is the quickest moving knight. Eight of Wands is the quickest move, one of the quickest moving cards of action. Either fast travel, fast communication, fast moving forward, especially with the Chariot card. The Chariot card, it's like it doesn't it will moves forward, can never move back, doesn't come with a reverse feature, and will run over anything that's in its way. Like it's focused forward. But there is a time element here. There was a time element. There was a time, and this is the number. Um, I just, I just freaking like blanked out. This is the number 13. Three plus one breaks down to a four, which is stability, which will lead you to the four of wands, which is a union, okay? And, and having a stable family. You see how the sun, is, this is death and regeneration. You see how the sun though, which is right here, was poking out so that an old you can die and a new you can stand up they knew again with that full moon card that time was running out because there is no time yes but there is time for us as human beings because energy doesn't stop for anyone these karmic cycles it's like if you miss your lesson you have to wait another karmic cycle for you to like they're gonna you have to sit in that energy again until you get it but 
the way destiny works is like we don't, we don't live that long right <laughs> like we don't so if you don't learn if it takes you like 80 years to learn your lesson you're still gonna have the opportunity to do so but you kind of just like use up the all the energy of your entire life so archangel michael really fought hard to have this happen right now you can't make that up there it is knight of swords eight of wands killing the demons so that you can bring judgment to this situation like right now like he's like you don't have any time okay again it has you have um free will and this doesn't just apply to someone you're dealing with. I'm saying they as in both of you. You too. Okay? Now, another thing is I said you're going to get rapid communication. That's rapid communication, if I may say so. Okay? The sun card is the happiest card in the deck. So it looks like the biggest omen is you are going to receive your blessing. Okay? The nine of swords is being in that, like, anxiety, like I said. That was the karmic lesson. The karmic lesson for you and this person was to sit in this energy for at least nine months. No lie. That was part of your karmic lesson. Everything that happened, everything that kept you in the dark, feel like you're dying in like this fogged mirrors, okay? P treating people like crap because you don't see the truth because you don't know what the hell you want. It was just projection central. That was on purpose. Um, the divine literally was killing you on purpose. And it's not that they hate you. It's because they want the best for you. It's because they were trying to have the, sh the sun poke through. They were killing you. That's why it hurt. That happened for at least nine months. That was your karmic lesson, dude. The karmic lesson was to revisit the past. Again, this is the card of childhood. People from the past. Your childhood. People from childhood. People from the past in general. But in particular, childhood. Because there's children. That's what this card means. Even if you Google it, that's what it means. Like they, this entire thing happened, karmic lesson. So because they knew that you were destined to have something huge. You can't have anything more beautiful than the freaking sun card. But the only way that they can get you out of this energy, of this projection energy that was siphoning your destiny, was to cause so much chaos and so much stress that it forced you to acknowledge things from your childhood, etc., and reprogram your brain so that you could be able to move forward and confidently look back at that like no 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 i get it i get it and i have my sword up and um i'm able to accept my destiny now also that means nine of swords it's, there was a relationship in the past and someone's in their head either you or this other person or both like what have i done okay i miss this person this is i miss this card like i have clarity on this right now i want to reconcile with this person but they're in their brain trying to figure out how to move forward okay they are still in the research phase trying to figure out what they can do to communicate with somebody from their past or reconcile you can't make it up but as you can see that's the next step like i said this was going to be a continuation of yesterday archangel michael is here again saying okay i fought the battle for you i love you okay i put you through hell in the past i love you i want you to have the biggest blessing i'm not done yet though i'm still fighting for you and now the next step is me fighting for you in the form of i'm going to now grant you the ability to page of swords page of swords is research and also communication as in text messages and really light communication like it's not it's not like um very involved okay pages is like the smallest level it's almost like the communication between you and this person always stayed in baby level. And that was part of the frustration. They're like, okay, I just needed this to happen now. So now my next step is fighting for you so that you can have like big time communication very soon. I'm a lot, I'm going to, I'm going to help you now with that. This is, this is crazy. You can't make that up. Look, and somehow this ended up in the bottom. That that's where you're headed. Okay. All right. I can't be here forever. I could, but that's what they wanted to say. I'm going to pull a couple more cards see what they gotta they have a couple more things to say and then um oh i did channel that full card you're gonna you're uh, someone's about the full card is starting a brand new life after some kind of an ending ten of swords in reverse okay um because the sun already shined everything that you need to know okay is clear or to be made clear between now and the full moon okay and um oh my god you can't make that up honey Oh my, OMG, oh, you're seeing me shuffle and we just got, we just got the 10 of, um, we just got the freaking 10 of cups. You saw it and I put it back. They're like, no, no, honey, you need to confirm everything. I know you have to leave. They had this full card 
be you know as the odd one out they don't ugh, they are not playing dude the energy is so strong i know that they always have me channeling confirmed but this is like next level ish you comment down below i mean you've seen this you can't make this up you can't be a skeptic here if you wanted to i just picked this up ace of swords you can't be a skeptic here if you wanted to ace of swords every time i pull the ace of swords it means truth clarity you cannot be a skeptic here if you wanted to with this freaking sort of mental clarity and not to mention honey that again for the 80th time i channeled that that was the main focus you're gonna have clarity but you see how they had it come out excuse me if this keeps shaking meaning you're going to receive communication again that means communication and mental clarity that will allow you or this person to take a leap of faith confidently because the main message yesterday was that your projection city um really stopped you guys from being comfortable taking risks but it came from that um fear that i spoke about and they brought temperance to that okay they wanted to balance you guys out and they so now you're going so now they want to emphasize a couple things i did channel this like together like that so you can't make that up okay like i channeled the tower card but like next to the world did i not i can't remember i'm gonna scroll back after this and hear it I said either the tower in reverse or the tower next to the world. That literally came out of my mouth, dude. <laughs> Meaning it's not the tower as in like shit show central. It's like almost like the tower already ended. So now the tower moment now, the, the sudden event now is not the, sh the shit show. The sudden event now is I, w I learned a lot from the shit show. I want to heal what happens and build towards this and it's beautiful that they had this one come out here because the ten of pentacles is not just union and love and marriage it's also your pentacles okay your money your career taking a leap of faith towards everything okay your passion projects your career everything and being able to build with somebody everything there's even a baby there okay go hear the one from yesterday you can't make that up they're making that clear they are granting you the, me the the mental clarity to go to the zero to start brand new okay and so that's what the world's card means the world card is also the number 21 meaning right now we're starting with the star the star card here the star card is the hope healing so now you guys have been able to heal and have hope and faith okay without being afraid to take risks that was the point that was the healing close out the cycle world card is also travel okay there's a big omen for that and suddenly build something pretty solid or someone's going to communicate with you that they want that or again it, it, some of you are going to be again every time they have pull out the high priestess just picked it up that's what i was going to say but again this is this is confirming the next group because okay the ten of swords is an ending for some of you either way this is your outcome for some of you the sudden event is that something's done and either way you're going to meet someone new either way you're building this in the next six months but for the majority of you it's somebody from the past especially with that six of cups you're gonna have justice either way justice from the devil told you Justice from the Five of Cups, sadness, sorry. Justice from being blocked, not knowing what to do, blindfold. Wow. They're Justice from this, you can't make it up. Justice from the Nine of Swords, being confused. Uh, you know, being able to release, a, um, oh my God, you can't make it up. Uh, um, arguments and strife and closing out the cycle for good with healing. You can't make that up. Um, what are they saying? Um, the number nine, because they specify the nine of swords, is also very significant for many reasons. There's a lot of omens there, I'm not going to lie. Number nine is also like the amount of time that it takes. Wow, lover's card. So they're really emphasizing that ish. And the number nine is also how long it takes to um, for a baby to be created. Okay? Some of you, there is a big omen for um pregnancy it doesn't mean right now or in the future so but if you're one of those people that have been trying and you couldn't because yesterday they had me emphasize yeah look uh, somebody not being able to but sometimes it's energetic okay that's like energetic blockage um yeah 
having an omen of that happening but there's a big omen for fertility oh i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i'm done i'm not gonna lie i can't make, i'm sorry i don't this is not the disney channel but i'm not gonna lie <laughs> the four of wands marriage this is the family god which we emphasized before. I said, all of this that I showed you before was to prepare you to get here. I said, this is the four that you were being prepared to go towards. The Six of Cups is reconciliation. But what did I tell you the Six of Cups is? What did I tell you? It was children. Do you know the Sun card? There's a baby there. It also signifies pregnancy and children also, especially with this card. Like these two, these three cards together quite literally is a pregnancy and a child. Some of you, if you don't want to have a child, um, if you don't want to have a child, we have free will. So you can do things to take care of that with the justice again. You have free will to, to do what you got to do so that doesn't happen. But I'm going to tell you right now, for whoever this is, it might not be that it's going to happen right now. But I'm getting in the next year. For whoever this is, it's going to be different because all of your projections was that what kept you f in fear. But there's something about like, you know, like, oh, uh, mm, you know what I was about to say? Dude, the double, the double sun. Oh, shit. Wow, that's freaking beautiful. Do you, do you understand how powerful the sun is? I can't even react to this. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Holy shit. Excuse me. There's a married couple here. Oh, my God, with the ten of cups. With the same person, the King of Pentacles. No reversals. <gasps> there is an omen here of two people building a home. There's also a big omen for you getting pregnant with twins. Again, this is not the Disney Channel. But there are two children here. The Sun card also signifies children and pregnancy. Babies being born. There are There is two Sun cards. Do you know how rare it is to get the Sun twice? So there's a big omen for twins. I'm not going to lie. Obviously, that's not going to be for everybody. For some of you, that's just the the double. For those of you that this message about the babies is for you, this is a double message. Okay? But the message for everyone, regardless, is a union is forming. A family is forming. Okay? For the, for the majority of you, it's someone from the past. That's someone from the past. Six. The number six signifies um, love. And six plus four is... 10 and we saw to build the number 10 a happy home union okay and you are both going to be extremely happy the sun and the sun that is the most fruitful i mean i'm telling you it's it's something that you have never experienced in your life because again since you were projection city it means i like i said you you're 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 with the freaking oh my god the devil and the judgment bringing judgment day to the devil like fuck you releasing that because you had so much of this the, oh my god with the wheel of fortune it's your karmic payout you can't make it up i'm sorry <laughs> you, they don't can you not freaking see what they do for me i am so thankful because you can't make this up if you wanted to it's your karmic payout from all the devil energy all the top everything that uh, all the anger toxic thing whatever held you back from your true siphoning your energy it's judgment day it's it's karmic payout day so this brightness is so freaking bright the sun card two two times that you've never this is blinding you've never experienced and you want to know what's so beautiful about this besides there's an omen for twins an omen for reconciliation all of that this is freaking i can't even i keep i i'm so stuck on this spread because i've never seen anything this beautiful in my entire life but the big message of the reading yesterday was that Whoever I was reading for, you guys are extremely powerful people and divinely guided people individually. There's a sun card for you and a sun card for the other person. And this was predestined since you were a child, since you before you were born, Six of Cups. No lie. For you, this is the divine, this is the most powerful card in the entire deck. There's one for you, one for this person. That was the emphasis in yesterday. And that they did that by showing the magician for both of you like you are master manifesters so when you one person goes into their power and the another person goes into their power and these two powerful ass people come together what they build is next level so you want to say something else and then i think we're going to stop here so i don't want to make this too long 
And um, I got to put my baby to bed. She got school. Here's the star again. Here's the emperor, the masculine energy. Oh, my God. Dude, can you make this up? Ah. Two of cups. An offer. Oh, my. What is this? Oh, I'm so done. Dude. Oh, wow. I'm sh This is beautiful. This is the Ten of Cups that we just saw. This is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups. This is I. This is love. This is love. This is a partnership. You're the rainbow, every color. Ace of Pentacles with the um, Father of Pentacles. The Father of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles, which we emphasized before. Look at him. His antlers are rainbow. The rainbow comes from the star. The rainbow signifies healing. Like coming full circle, you've healed yourself. So, and antlers signify like, you know, like wisdom, like your power. Like this person's in their power now with that pentacle in his head with all those uh, rainbow colors from the star. Been a big difference and he's looking forward. And it's literally next to the ace of pentacles, meaning this is the person offering it to you. Offering what? Love, connection. That's beautiful, okay? Six of, um, no, four of swords. Four of Swords is a period of rest. So you might not be talking to this person right now. Both of you, this is a period of, this is a, being in a, in a state of meditation. You need to go, oh my God, this is so significant. You can't make it up, guys, because they guide me to the decks that, I, that they want me to. Oh my God, dude. They guide me to decks for no, it's never an accident. I'm shook, okay? There was a tower moment between you and this person, either an argument, a freaking shocking event, whatever the case may be. Okay, literally, it was lightning that hit out of nowhere. And that tree that you thought you had built for yourself, that tree that you thought was your stability was a fake ass tree. And they were like, I'm burning this down. Why did they burn this down? You must have had some kind of a like sudden like shock that blocked you guys. They were letting you know that wasn't an accident because you guys were in the Eight of Swords. That's the Eight of Swords, the card we just saw before. Self-imprisonment of your own thoughts, like hands tied, blindfolded. But you see this eight of swords, how beautiful it's 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 a cocoon, right? Turning into a butterfly because you did not realize they literally just confirmed that because that came out of my mouth before I just pulled this card. You did not realize at the moment that the reason that that happened was because they were preparing you to come out your cocoon by four of swords being in a state of meditation. Look at this four of swords, four of swords. What are you doing? You're meditating so that you can have the sun the sun is in your third eye mental clarity literally so the sun can shine on your head both of you that's crazy this is the emperor masculine energy i told you there's a very big um energy especially from yesterday like you guys have power like whoever this is master manifester i don't want to go into it again go hear the reading from yesterday but it's like the power that you guys have is ridiculous the emperor masculine energy is coming forward to build something with the high priestess so whoever the feminine energy here is, is extremely freaking gifted, okay? And if you did not know that, you know that now. But the high priestess in general is your intuition. So the emperor really trusted his intuition, okay? And go after the star. The star and the sun twice. Star is healing, like reconciliation, like hope. After a period of having to become enlightened, okay? Wow. And I just split this. You can't make it up. You know what this is? You know what this is? This is the Six of Cups. <laughs> this is the Six of Cups. This is the same card. Holy shit. This is reconciliation. It's the same tree from the masculine energy. He's the one building these roots. And I kid you not. Someone's having twins here. And this is not the Disney Channel. But you can't deny that. Because I just went on and on about why I'm channeling that. But now it's even more. Because I said the Six of Cups has two children. <laughs> and then there's a son, which is children. Two children. But now we have the Six of Cups and the Six of Cups. Now we have two Six of Cups, two children, two children. Holy shit. I'm sorry, but you can't make that up if you wanted to. So you can't make that up if you wanted to. So that's for somebody. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. Um, Let me just pull some of this and then we're gonna i have to go but this is beautiful seriously 
Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. We just had a moon in Leo. Wow. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. We literally get this full moon in Cancer card in every reading too. Because that was an emphasis. And that, you know, that blue color reminds me of the moon. The emphasis about was about the projection energy in regards to the chariot, like things that you need to have comfort, family, etc. The they works for you to reach that personal that resolution and that personal issue so that you can have confidence to move forward and be bold two more oh well damn look what's down here huh. master manifestors look what just came out here the magician meaning else it's manifesting south no don't let your past hold you back wow that's the big lesson that is the big lesson They are confirming everything. Full moon in Leo. We just had a full moon in Leo. Waxing crescent moon. Full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Have faith in your dreams. I told you the projection was the reason that you were not able to, you were unable to have faith in things. Go after things. Lack of confidence. And there was a lot of ego here. Both of you. I said it's both of you. How do I know it's both of you? This was completely mirroring energy. You can't make that up because there's a lion for both of you, honey. <laughs> there is a lion for both of you. The snake came out here in reverse. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Holy shit. The, the emphasis yesterday was about another woman. I'm not going to lie. And it came out in reverse. And it came out in reverse next to abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest. Oh my God. After the magician came out manifesting. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. So what this person wants is not this snake. Because that came out in reverse. Oh my God. With look what's underneath it. OMG. Stab in the back in reverse. Okay. Seriously. Separation, deception. Because of that person, the snake. That's what that is. Abundance. Oh my God. Manifest exactly what you want. Look what this says. The Phoenix. New phase. Rekindle. Renew. Transformation. Growth. Changed mind. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk. Being strategic. Options. Not showing hands. Gambling. Literally. Someone's being strategic in regards to someone from their past. Like somebody else. Whatever that. However that resonates to you. Okay. It could even be like family. I don't know. But didn't I say the big issue was being unable to take risks? Well, someone's taking a chance to rekindle and transform. Some, someone changed their mind. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. This is what they want. Okay? That's what that says. I'm going to pull one more. Ooh. Wow. Did you just see that? Did you, did you just see that? I accidentally put the abundance card back and they pulled it out again just to remind you the main message yesterday was like the energy of they're releasing you from this sad energy, even if you didn't realize that you had this sad energy within. Because whoever you are, you're meant to have money up the you know what. There is a picture here of a woman with like throwing money all over her body. Abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude, bliss. I said your ability to manifest that you've had since before you were born was siphoned. You can't make that up. I don't really want to touch the freaking uh, the Southern Oracle today. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. You guys know, I know we have a bet in this channel. I'm going to honor you. We have a bet in this channel. Okay. To see how many times we can go. It's already been what? 15? 16? The freaking Georgia Peach card that's stalking us. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. Let's see how many I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna pull four. Ooh, sorry. Let me shuffle. Make sure I shuffle well. <gasps> oh. How many should I pull four? Did I say four? Let's say four. Mm, sorry. 
These cards are so hard for me. Ah, these cards are so hard for me to shuffle. When number one, so that's a big omen. Number one is the first card for like a new beginning. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade, optimism, perseverance, opportunity, creative genius. Sorry, this turned off. As you can hear a door, so somebody came in. Let me shuffle. Oh, there's that card. It came out yesterday a million times too. That omen is big. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday I was like, that's an omen for a new beginning. Yes. But that's also an omen for, I mean, I'm sorry. There is a sun behind it. And we got the sun two times and the six of cups two times after I talked about twins. And her belly is big as hell. Okay. Even though, I mean, I had a nine, a, a baby that was over nine pounds and my belly was big as hell. And people asked me if I was having twins and I wasn't. But nonetheless, that's what I channeled. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, I feel nauseous. <laughs> Are we doing this fucking card again, dude? <sighs> I looked like a Georgia peach when I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I used to look at myself in the mirror like that. <sighs> Why do I gotta be that person that gets this, like fucking way over the 35 pound weight gain for pregnancy limit? Why me? No, I'm, everybody in my family has nine and 10 pound babies. I'm just, that's just what it is, dude. Sweet as a Georgia peach. Kindness, tender care. Charm, beauty, flirtation, delicious experience. You guys should be a freaking expert. Okay. Didn't I say strong momentum? Look what's at the bottom. It's blowing up a storm. Strong momentum, sudden change, necessary shakeup, transformation, and hope. Holy crap, that is the star card with the tower. The rainbow's about to come out. Two more. No, I don't like when two come out like that. I already told you. Stomping grounds. Oh my God. It's the same cards as last time. Every time the Georgia Peach comes out, it comes out with all the cards that's come out with it, like surrounding it. It's always the same ones. Stomping grounds. Origin. Oh my God. The Six of Cups, dude. Origin. Nostalgia. Memories. Tradition. Tribute. Visit. It says past connection. Last one. Holy ish. Passion, sensuality, amorousness, chemistry, longing. Someone longs for you. Instant crush. There is a sun poking out there, and it says passion, sensuality, which is quite literally like getting hot and heavy. So again, go get an IUD or whatever. But there was a big omen. Honestly, with this sun card, there's something, and I've said it before when I channeled this for somebody's, for someone. There's something ridiculously like special about this child. Like that it's, it's like, um... Like, there's just something energetically different about that child. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this, again, it could just be um, building something. This is past connection from origin, tradition, tribute, visit, nostalgia, missing you. It says nostalgia here, and here it says longing. Instant crush. Instant crush. Instant crush means, like, literally, like, for no reason, you have what, like... An energetic pull to this person. Sorry, it's shaking. That's why. And in the bottom, it says 30. 30. If that ain't truth, grits ain't groceries. Believe it. Trustworthiness. Watch for signs. Intuition. Lucidity. The real deal. Maybe some of you are watching here right now. Asking for clarity through me. Intuition. Watching out for signs so you can have lucidity. Well, and to see if I'm trustworthy. Well, you better believe it because I'm not going to lie. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm the real deal here, okay? And they're making themselves known. Like, there's nothing to doubt here. So you need to cut it out with your shit, okay? Oh, my God, look. Lipstick on a pig in reverse. <laughs> uh, artifice, denial, cover-up, trickery, superficiality, fr frivolity, and foolishness. Like, literally, they're saying... Cut it, like, stop being foolish and stop denying and stop covering up your BS because you need to watch out for the sun. You need to believe in this is the real deal. And we're going out of our way to make sure that you know that. Make sure that you know that. And I'm just going to end with one of these. Those for the universe. Okay, well, that was pretty... Okay. Aggressive. So that means it's important, huh? Everyone is doing their best. There are really only two types of people, those you now love and those you will love. 
until there's only one type of person, and then we'll probably hit replay. The game of life, the universe, oh my god. <laughs> wow, I'm shook. That means, again, those you now love and those you will love, until there's only one type of person, there's a big emphasis of somebody dealing with someone from their past. Maybe not everyone, but that's pretty... That was a big message because it says like someone that you love and then someone you will love until there's only one type of person. Like there's a realization there's only one type of person. Um, so listen, everyone's doing their best. There's a big like forgiveness omen here. I don't know why they're pulling me to one more tarot card. Ooh, holy shit. You know why? Because they want to let you know this is happening right now. The tower. Disruption. Warns of disasters. Aids in transformation. They're letting you know this disaster. Don't look at it in the negative. This happened so that you can um, transform. <gasps> and I just like picked this up. I don't even know how that happened. Archangel. We're ending with Archangel Michael. We're ending with Archangel Michael. The chariot. The chariot, perseverance, success in conflict, overcoming adversity. What else do you need? What else do you need? If this is not freaking energetic, energetic manifestation to the 80th degree, I don't know what is. All right. Eight of wands at the bottom. The freaking fastest moving card again. The tower and the eight of wands. They are making it clear. It's now. Okay. Or someone needs to take action now because I said that the time was running out. Eight of Wands, the great and exalted God, grandeur, makes one passionate toward God. Passionate toward God means be thankful, honey. Love and light. 